Yo, what's up guys, this is your Hacks, and today we're going to be doing Pickle Rick from Try Hack Me. So this is my first ever Try Hack Me video, and Pickle Rick is a fairly easy box to start off for beginners, and basically it's a kind of themed uh, Rick and Morty, and uh, Rick and Morty is basically kind of like a, a, a funny cartoon, and we see that this Rick and Morty theme challenge requires you to exploit a web server to find three ingredients that, that will help Rick make his potion to transform himself back back into a human from a pickle. So Rick is a tall guy here. So he's turned into a pickle and we need to find three ingredients to turn him back into a human. And I've already done this box, so uh, I'm sorry if you see any spoilers, but it should be pretty easy, so... Let's just get into it. Just first copy the IP address. I've already uh, made the box. Um, I did the box. So, mmap dash sc dash sv dash on for output only. The nmap uh, 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 output basically format and the IP address of the box. I've already done this, so we can just see the. Uh, and map results, and we see that there's two ports open, one port SSH and one port HTTP. So before, uh, because we know that it's HTTP, we can just uh, usually just do Goldbuster on Durbuster. If you don't have Goldbuster, you can use Durbuster. Uh, We're just doing Durbuster. Um, but I want to stay on the command line. And if you want to, if you want to install uh, Goldbuster, you can just do uh, apt install Goldbuster. Oh, go buster, and I already have it. So if you haven't, it will just say why, and I'll just make all the stuff. And now we can, now we can do go buster. If you ta so go buster in der mode to find directories dash u basically means URL. Uh, tag w means a, a word list. I just like to stick with the basics. So uh, the ones that Kali has given to us. Uh, user sh which is in user share word list der buster you can use derb if you want i i usually like to use der buster but they're both uh, equally good and you can use the medium or small i usually just like using the medium because it, it, it has more but you can use a small if you want tag x for extension and i'm gonna specify php HTML, CSS, JS, SH, Python scripts, why not? And let's just put this into a gobuster.log file. Now that's set off. Now we can also do a, um, a nicto. So nicto tag h, http, slash. That and we can put this into a uh, nicto dot log nicto dot log. So we see this, and we already found a login dot php. So we can just head over there, paste this, and login dot php, and it says portal login page. So We've got that, so we can just normally see what's in here. First, yes, always check the robots.txt. Because uh, most uh, CTF boxes hide precious information there. So we see already something wobba double wobba wobba loo. But dub dub wobba loo dub dub. I can't just I can't say that. So wobba dub dub dub. Um, we have this could be a Rick and Morty reference. If anybody's watching Rick and Morty, uh, this is gonna be a Rick and Morty reference. So we can just just store it. Maybe uh, I'll just copy it from uh, just now. So I'm making. Um, we can just do. I mean, we need cred. So maybe this could be a credential. So I'm just gonna. Do so creds and maybe just paste this and now we can go into the normal page so like index.html index.html 
which we are still it doesn't really run at it. So hope more you listen more than you do. Hope I'm telling you, okay, it's turned himself back my pickle. And uh, need last three secret ingredients to finish my pickle reverse potion. The only problem is I have no idea what the password is for his computer. Okay, so we need to view the page source. So you can just do right uh right click view page source or you can just do control U. Um I usually just like use control U. So we see this big comment here just saying note to self remember username. Okay, so this could be the username and we can just paste that in the credits and maybe wubba dubba dub dub could be the password. So we can just do password for this Rick rules. We can just copy that. Going to um what did I do here? Um, we can go into login PHP portal login page. We can just enter Rick rules and wop it up a dub dub. Wop it up a dub dub. Copy that. Paste it here. Login. And hopefully, yes, we do log in. So we see we have logged into here, and we can just stop these. Stop Nikto and this exit, exit, and we can focus on this. So we see that we have the portal now. Now we see that we can access these potions, creatures, potions, birth clone notes. Okay, we can just tap on this. Okay, we see that we have deny.php and so gift pickle rig. Okay, so it looks like all of these are actually deny.php because you can see in the uh, bottom left corner it says deny.php and command is the only one which says portal.php. So I think we can that's the only thing we can access. So let's just add some normal commands like ls. Okay, so basically we can do command line stuff. So we can probably cat the super dot ingredient, which is going to be the first ingredient. And cat is disabled. So what we can basically do is grep this and paste. Oh, no. Grab tag R. Wait, what's LS again? Okay, we need to copy this. And we can cat this by grep. Grep. If I can type grep and this, and we see it's Mr. Me6 here. So this is going to be the first answer to it. And now we can try get all the other answers. Oh my god. Okay. So, because we know how to cat a specific file, we can cat the whole file system with grep tag r and basically a period to say this is where we want to execute this. And we see all of the outputs coming. So, we can just copy that, delete this. And grep. Tab and we can see the whole thing. The whole thing is coming. So this is probably deny.php, robots.txt, index.html, login.php, the image source. And basically, if you want to see, it's just creating a post request with the username and that. And it, I think it's just checking in the background if it's right. And we can see. Super secret ingredient is Mr. Me6 here and clue.txt. Look around the file system for the other ingredient. So we see that there is um this is this is how the commands panel works. So um so this is gonna be that if this else output the shell execute and we're posting the command. So we're just gonna echo the output. Okay. That's some PHP code right there. Let's reuse the source page and we see that we can see it a little bit better. 
So we can go down to find maybe some interesting stuff. Okay, we now we see some base 64 decoded stuff, but um, this is actually a really big rabbit hole because um, it doesn't work for just like the the first time you decode it. You need to keep on uh, applying those decodes until uh, it works. So if you just do that and then base 64 D, it says invalid input. So you do that basis 64 tag D again. Okay. Somehow I decoded it and basically what it said it was rabbit hole. So that's a really massive rabbit hole. If you, if you did it, uh, you would probably uh, wasted lots of time. So we see that the source page says, okay, um, okay, contain string string so can't use cat so basically it's saying the commands these commands we cannot use command disable to make it hard for the future picker rick and then the image source is is just the gift that you see the sorry okay so now we can basically execute commands which makes it wait is there any way to clear this Okay, can we clear this? Okay, we did. Okay, so um, now we can execute commands. Now we have to try to uh, get the mm, get the shell. So we see we we can try uh, Python because Python is a really good Python's like Python's what I usually do. So we can just do which Python three. We say user bin Python, so we can just now normally just go into uh, Python rev shells and there's payload all the things and pin test monkey. I just usually like payload all the things, and we can go down to Python and we see that there's the IPv6 version of it and there's so this is what we want to do and so just want to copy all of this and remember we have to run it in python 3 and this is just in normal python so that's what we have to be creating so we can just line wait rev show i just like putting this stuff in so i have so first change to Python 3 and now I'll just change this to um your IP address the uh open v the, the IP address that you get when you're connected to the VPN. So let me just check mine real quick. You can check yours by just doing if config tunnel zero and mine is ten dot four dot thirty two dot one five two so we can just paste in here uh, save that um, I think we did yep now we save this we run copy this we netcat dash lv and 4242 and before we just enter this, um, I just want to, like, if you know who John Hammond is, um, I mean, if, if you know, if you know how, like, if you have been in a net cat shell before and you know, like, it's really unstable as you can't do, like, um, uh, wait, I'll just show you after this. So this is loading, which means it's good. And we got the shell here. So if you, if you're in a net cat shell, you can't really do, like, uh, like auto tab and CD like we see this we can say if I want to cat this really, really long text so I can just so in normal tab you can just do super and then you can tab it but in a cat you can't do that so if I just want to do like cat um uh, and then it will just give me the uh, auto 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 correction you can't do that in a, in a cat shell and there's this uh amazing uh, CTF mentor called John Hammond he even has a YouTube channel of himself he's really good 
um, he has created uh, um, some poor man's pen test, pen test scripts, pen test scripts to help like pen, te uh, pen testers to like uh, stabilize the shell with Nick Cat. Stay, uh, get a Python reversal, get a Netcat reversal, Lenum, Lee, uh, LNM, basically, uh, Linux, Linux enumeration, upload file via Netcat, upload via file via WGET, so add SSH key, so stuff like that. So he's made these scripts and put, and he's made a GitHub of it, uh, the poor man's pen test. And if you see, this is a collection of the code that I have written for the poor man's pen test. So if we see the stabilized shell, uh, we see that it's just a really simple uh, script, just hiding Gwake. So Gwake is um, uh, it's kind of like a terminal. So uh, say if I uh, let me just go into this one. Real quick. So if you want to install Gwake, you can just do apt install Gwake, and it will install Gwake automatically for you. I've already installed it. And say if you want to activate Gwake, you can just go into preferences and go into Gwake. Let me just exit this real quick. And you can just go into your thing and just type up Gwake. And we see that there's terminal and there's preferences. First click on the preferences. Because you need to modify it to uh, basically uh, suit the... Poor man's pen test scripts. So, going to uh, general, going to the toggle GWAIC visibility, uh, spacebar there, then uh, do the left arrow, um, left or right, a bit depending on the thing, and then hit the backspace, I mean, no, go down, and then hit the space, and when it says new accelerator, now you can just basically type anything for you to hide. So say if I just want to type F12 and you can just press enter, I mean F12 and you can just do close. Now I can just activate Gwake by F12. So I'm pressing F12 to hide and like So to, to make it uh, suitable to the uh, poor man's pen test, you need to change it to shift uh, return shift return then it won't then it will only be like um uh able you will be able to use it so new accelerator shift return basically shift enter and then i can just do close now i can just access work by shift returning so now that you've got it got that go install you can just uh basically install the poor man's pen test here into I just usually like doing it into opt folder as you can see here I've got PMP so that's the other stuff that's the other thing I have to do wait you have to uh, change so you get clone here okay so you get clone here and then uh, you'll see you'll uh, the name will be poor man's pen test. So now you can just open open uh, open dot here, and then just change the poor man's pen test. Rename it to PMP. Just change, rename it to PMP, and then CD to PMP. And then uh, you'll have more files than me. Just uh, move all of the files that you think will be necessary for you into your home directory. So if I go into my home directory, uh, I have most of my files here. So I just move nearly all of them. So uh, you can just move them here and then it will be easy for you just to execute them in like, because uh, Gwake starts off with this stuff. So we're going to stabilize. ZH if you're using if you use ZSH or you can just do normal shell but I use ZSH and you can even upload files so that's gonna be good for us so that's how you basically get your uh, poor man's pen test up and running so now let's try to stabilize our shell so do shift enter uh, stabilize you probably would just be doing stabilize shell I am gonna be using ZSH shell um, sometimes it's actually just 
Oh, why is this shift return? Okay. Okay, so it's basically running. Plus, you also need Python to for this to work. And we know that we have Python, so we can just do it. So now if I just do EA, it just auto types to clear. And we can just cat the super secret on txt. And we see it's Mr. Me Seeks Hair. And now we can uh, try to prove, uh, pr try to like do in enumeration. So let's use one of our PMP tools again. And that's going to be upload netcat sh. So now, um, basically, you can basically upload any file. I'm going to upload uh, the privilege escalation uh, awesome suite script suites, uh, basically linpeas, linpeas or sh. Now, this is just going to be running after this works. Now, we can just succeed it to dev, shm, and ls, and we see uh, linpeas is there. So I'm just going to uh, make that executable. And we can run linpeas. Linpeas here. And we can just wait this. We can just wait it for this to work. So basically, um, this linpeas um, is kind of like a uh, privilege, uh, privilege escalation uh, script, which uh, privilege escalates your tries to find out ways for you to escalate your privileges so we can start looking up so we see that there is all these stuff um uh i'm just trying to find the one which is good we can so we see all of these, what we can read and write, readable history pseudo as admin. Okay, we're going to scroll up. It's really difficult reading, um, makes it kind of like, it's okay reading uh, lin p's, but then it's because it color codes the stuff. So you know which one's going to be the uh, most p vector, and we see that we're finding the username strings inside key folders. Uh, we see that in the index.html username is Rick Rules, and then the login of PHP basically saying it's going to post the username, and if it's going to see if it's going to equal uh, password and all over dub dub. So here we don't see anything interesting in linpeas. So now we just have to do some manual enumeration. So in cd back to our home, oh, cd dash far dub dub dot html ls and yeah, we can now try to do like like sudo tag l to see what we can run. Uh, yeah, let's run sudo tag l and. So we see that we can actually use our dub dub data may run the following commands on the root. So all no password all. So we basically can just uh, sudo su and then we'll get root easily. That's how easy it is to get privilege escalation. So we can just um, cd to the root. We can cat the dir.txt which is fleeb juice and we can cd to home rick because we know that's one of the users and we can just cat all here and we see it's one jerry tree so um that should be the answers to this and uh, i hope you guys like my video and i will be coming up with these more try hack me i'll try to make more try hack me videos as i haven't I just, as i just started like around like last week so i hope you guys enjoy um stay tuned and uh make sure to subscribe and like see you guys next time peace